civil society groups in Nigeria have raised concern over dependency on borrowing as it is greatly affecting the government's capacity to fund critical sectors of the nation's economy. The concern was made in Abuja, Nigeria, capital city, after a two days workshop on strengthening civil society's understanding and capacity to influence tax expenditure and debt management in Nigeria. The workshop, which had several civil society groups such as Civil Society Legislative Advocacy Center, Christian Aid and the Tax Justice and Governance Platform, among others in attendance, took a critical look at the country's fiscal challenges and public debt management strategies and observed that substantial allocation of the country's revenue is allocated towards debt services rather than funding critical sectors such as health, education, and social development. Only 7.9%, 5% and 4% were allocated to education, healthcare, and social development and poverty reduction, respectively. It is also instructive to note that as Nigeria runs a dollar-denominated economy, it may be more ideal to assess budgetary allocation to social services in dollar terms. A comparative analysis of budgetary allocation to, adjo uh, to, a, to just education based on the exchange rate assumption of the country 2023 and 2024 budget show that education expenditure budget has dropped by 36% between 2023 and 2024 from uh, $56 billion to $36 billion. As a matter of fact, even if this will be utilized, will be used, it will have reached somewhere but because of corruption, even this poor allocation is not going anywhere. So we have multiple problems, multiple problems of poor allocation to critical important sectors, and then more by corruption and diversion of this money, which is complicating and making the situation worse. Creditor borrowings, which account for about 60% of the annual debt servicing cost and prioritize concessional loans in adherence to legal stipulations. The current economic situation in Nigeria, as we all see, is characterized by dwindling government revenues and escalating public debt. Demands, it demands immediate and strategic interventions. The government's persistent reliance on borrowings and the loss of substantial revenue through tax expenditure have compounded these challenges. And I the group also made some recommendations calling on the National Assembly to come up with some legal and institutional framework related to debt management with an emphasis on transparency and accountability to further address the situation. Loan approvals should undergo rigorous le legislative scrutiny. With public involvement, we've seen on several locations, citizens are not even involved in most of these conversations. It feels like we are disconnected, but we are pushing for inclusion in all of these cases where decisions are being made that our voices will be heard largely. Lastly, like we've also recommended, regular audits should be conducted on public debt management operations in line with the World Bank recommendations what we've seen in the country as well is over the, over the couple of years, audits, we, we get this money through budgets. The fiscal process or the fiscal um, process looks at budgeting, contracting or procurement, and also looks at auditing process. But nobody asks those questions on how much was spent on those um, engagement. But this, for us, we are putting it in the front line to see how we continue engaging. Thank you very much. The National Assembly should reverse revise legal and institutional frameworks re related to debt management, emphasizing transparency and accountability. This includes empowering bodies like the Fiscal Responsibility Commission and Debt Management Office to enforce laws and regulations. Annual budgets should be accompanied by tax expenditure statements that detail the above analysis. And then, comprehensive, accessible, and 
usable, timely tax expenditure reports are published at the end of annual implementation periods. And we need for all of us to amplify our voices against this borrowing pattern. The government should stick to what the law says, borrow from concessional sources if need be, and also find a way to expand its revenue generation uh, formula to ensure that they are able to generate rather than continue to borrow. If not, we are mortgaging the future of Nigeria. This is not the first time various civil societies group have called on the government to reduce its dependency on borrowing to finance critical projects. Thank <laughs> you.